on craft. It's a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween and you flip it over and you can use the same craft as a decoration for Thanksgiving. Now I think these would make really nice garlands. Um, so you can decorate like a mantelpiece or you can decorate um, a table. You can just hang them out individually or I think they'd make really nice just little ornaments just the way they are. So come on, let's take a look and see how they're made. So first we need to make our uh, pumpkin. I'm going to use a tin. Look at my lovely penguins. See the eye card how to make it. And I'm going to use it as a template. It's just a circular template. Now it really doesn't matter what size your tin is. This uh, or what shape you use. This is the size I'm going to use. And I now have a, a circle with a little dint. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. I'm going to just flatten it out a bit. To make it a bit more pumpkin shape or apple even. And then I'm gonna put a big pumpkin stem. And then you cut this out. There we go, we've got our basic pumpkin shape. Now you can use this as a um, template and cut out however many more you want. I think five or six are quite a nice number, but it's really up to you. Or you can just keep drawing some new ones. Now if you want, you don't have to do this. You can also add a little bit of green paint or um, a bit of green paper to your pumpkin stem. I want it green. You could also use green wool, but I think wrapping yarn wrapping that little bit will be a bit tricky. So um, I think it's nice to just add a bit of paint, but like I said, uh, some, a strip of paper would work in green. Um, you can use a green pen and basically just paint it green and let it dry. And then we're ready for our wrapping. So let's let that dry and then we'll come back to the next step very soon. So now it's dry, you literally take a little snip. This is just to help secure your first piece of yarn. Make a little knot. You make it a double knot, doesn't really matter. One should be enough. Secure this and then start wrapping. <laughs> it literally means just going round and round. Just remember that you should change directions <laughs> as you go round, just so that you get a nice even distribution and that it looks super neat. If you need to, you can add little snips here and there just to help the yarn stay in place. And that's it. You really just keep going until you're happy with the amount you've got. Now this is, for example, is enough, I think, but I also like it quite thick and I also want to cover up my little knot at the back because this is reversible, so you want both sides to look super cute. So I'm just gonna keep going a little bit longer and then we'll get to the next bit. I'm finished all I'm going to do now is I'm going to loop it round and as I go around I'm going to tuck my string under like a little knot and that will just help secure it and there you have your basic um, pumpkin finish now you can either leave them just like that if you want to um, use them as uh, pumpkins and for Thanksgiving or Harvest Festival but if like me you want to use them a bit longer you can now also have some fun with uh, cutting out some shapes. So I'm going to turn this into a jack-o'-lantern. That means on one side we're going to have a um, Halloween decoration and then on the other side it's going to be our Thanksgiving decoration. So it's like a two for one which is great. any glue because this is paper so some uh, like a glue stick will work or some uh, if you're using felt use a little bit of um, PVA glue and glue it down. You can have lots of fun with your jack-o'-lanterns create lots of different faces and make them really cute and quirky. So I'm going to just go off now and finish off my other jack-o'-lanterns and I'm going to tie them all to a piece of string and then out, you can see them all finished and one go at the end. Anyway, let's take a look and see what they all look like together. <laughs> 